Good morning. Biodegradable or green composites are explained in this video. Biodegradable composites are prepared using biofibers and biodegradable polymers. Whereas non-biodegradable composites are prepared using synthetic fibers such as carbon fiber, kevlar or glass fibers and they have been prepared using the thermosetting resin matrix but bio, bio degradable polymers use uh, biodegradable polymers biodegradable composites use biodegradable polymers uh, they are also thermoplastic polymers such as PLA, BBAT or PHA they are called as biodegradable composites these biodegradable polymers can be decomposed, degraded or absorbed or eliminated from the environment over time. The decomposition process can be in the form of chain scission or it may be hydrolysis. Chain scission means chain scission means that is solar, it is degraded by means of solar radiation. Hydrolysis, hydrolysis means it is a chemical reaction, it is done by enzymatic or non-enzymatic reaction depending on the characteristics of the polymers so biodegradable polymers are highly sought because because of the environmental concerns that are seeking today and nowadays and that is people are very much interested in the environmental impact of different products the non biodegradable polymers make greater environmental impact on the environment but the biodegradable composites are eco friendly and the growing environmental concerns due to enormous increase in the use of plastics accelerated and uh, the ecological crisis and compelled the current generation scientists to seek biodegradable options. So the microorganisms such as bacteria and fungus may consume biodegradable polymers and convert them into minerals such as CO2, H2O and CH4. Composites made of synthetic fibers are not biodegradable and cannot be recycled at the end of their life due to dissimilarity between the fibers and the matrix. Furthermore, most composites are manufactured using petroleum based synthetic polymer matrices that is the resins and the thermoplastic polymers all are prepared using uh, petro petrochemical petroleum based synthetic polymers but these biodegradable polymers are prepared from natural sources such as corn, wheat rice etc uh, these non biodegradable artificial polymer matrices contribute to global warming and uh, it will accelerate the landfill deposits and promote toxic environmental effects these are all some of the biodegradable polymers and poly uh, poly php phbv and pla pga pvsa uh, BBAY, PCL and PEA and in this video some four important biodegradable polymers are going to be discussed polylactic acid, polyhydroxy alkanoids, polybutylene adipate co terephthalate, polybutylene succinate BBS, PLA, PHA, BBAT and BBS. First one polylactic acid. So PLA is a thermoplastic polymer and is derived from lactic acid so here the monomer is lactic acid and the polymer is uh, polylactic acid and the uh, number of uh, number of it is prepared using the condensation polymerization uh, that is uh, the number of chains will be less compared to the petrochemical based polymers such as polypropylene or polyethylene uh, so they have less molecular weight compared to the petroleum based polymers. PLA is a potential biodegradable material to serve as an alternative to petrochemical based polymers. The monomer PLA is prepared using natural fermentation of natural fermentation from hydrocarbons such as starch, corn, rice etc. So wheat is also used to make the polylactic acid. Uh, so that uh, fermentation process uh, because acid is prepared from the fermentation process it prepares pure L lactic acid monomer in the fermentation process lactobilus because it is um, polylactic acid 
the bacteria used is lactobilus or rhizobus orisi funki are used so fermentation process requires the bacteria lactobilus bacteria or fungi and sufficient amounts of carbon that is uh, corn wheat or rice etc and nitrogen uh, yeast extract or peptides and other mineral elements the final product of bacterial synthesis l lactic acid which can be converted into polymeric form by polylactic acid of low molecular weight in subsequent poly condensation reaction melting temperature of pla is 175 degrees celsius so pla is completely biodegradable and it has to be converted into co2 h2o or methane so the applications of pla include automotive and food food packaging and medicine and uh, production of food packaging films bottles tables cups bakery packaging and disposable dishes in biomedicine pla has great applications now it is used as a binding material in tissue engineering however its poor thermal stability brittleness low crystallization rate and higher cost limits its large scale applications second biodegradable polymer is polyhydroxy alkanoates pha pha is a biodegradable polymer and renewable and biocompatible polymers like uh, pla and pbs so it is a best alternative to petrochemical polymers such as pp and pe pp is polypropylene and pe is polyethylene the main difference compared with other polymers is that uh, phas are prepared manufactured using certain microorganisms such as bacteria pseudomonas putida pseudomonas olivorans and ralstonia etropa and it is it reacts with sugar beet or any other substrate and the finally uh, that pha is formed so the company is making pha industrial manufacturing of psa bio on italy bio catalyst uses cupria vidas negator it is prepared from sugar beets produces 10000 tons per year tian on biologic materials china the bio catalyst used is ralstonia hydrofa it is prepared from dextrose from corn the production capacity is 10000 tons per year php industrial brazil is prepared from alkali genes the special substrate used is sacrose production capacity is 3000 tons per year and then the company name is polyfirm canada it is prepared from naturally selected microorganisms and the substrate is sugar and vegetable oils and the production capacity is 3000 tons per year and the pha the polymer pha structure is different uh, so uh, that uh, pla is also prepared from corn or wheat if it is prepared from corn it has a different structure if it is prepared from uh, sugar cane it has different structure similar to the similar to this pha if it is prepared from sugar beet it has different structure if it is prepared from dextrose it has some different structure but uh, the properties remain same the main monomer used in industry is 3 hydroxy acid or 3 hydroxy butyrate phas are brittle and they are relatively relatively costly and uh, uh, high cost uh, he makes some hindrances for its expansion in the market even though uh, even though it's higher cost it has such a production large production capacity because of its applications the applications are given in the second point it has uh, used as biomedical implants okay so pha is biocompatible pha and pla all the uh, biodegradable polymers are biocompatible that is uh, it will adjust with our human body so they are called as biocompatible uh, so they can be used as biomedical implants tissue engineering for heart tissues example bone cartilage and sharp tissues skin cardiovascular valves and drug delivery systems special tools for the delivery of a drug wound dressings stents nerve guides and bone marrow scaffolds for this they have been also been used in the agricultural sector 
pHs have good barrier properties to prevent permeation of moisture so they can be used as food containers and its easy processability enables its use in 3d printing okay bio implants are usually prepared from 3d printing uh, so it has some applications its properties can be tailored through blending with other polymers it can be used as packaging containers and films and coatings pHs are uv stable and with can withstand 180 degrees celsius the third polymer is polybutylene adipate co terephthalate bbat so uh, it is uh, similar to the uh, pet polymer pet polymer is uh, pet is uh, polyethylene terephthalate it's a thermoplastic polymer which is prepared from terephthalic acid similar to this that uh, this bbat is prepared from uh, poly condensation between uh, terephthalic acid and butane diol and adipic acid okay it is an uh, aliphatic or aromatic polyester that is aliphatic means it has open chain structure aromatic means uh, benzene it has a closed chain structure uh, because of the closed chain structure it has greater strength and uh, it can be prepared using that uh, catalyst such as metallic compounds such as zinc tin and uh, uh, titanium and uh, tin under vacuum systems the vacuum systems are provided to remove moisture and water and methanol bbat Uh, can be extruded blow molded or injection molded it has greater uh, good mechanical properties such as flexibility and tensile strength it has a mechanical property at 27 mega pascal density 1 to 60 to 1300 gram per centimeter cube melting temperature is 110 to 120 degree celsius bbat has a transparent and glossy aspect so it can be applied in packaging sector in disposable products and agriculture related uses so industrial manufacturing of bbat uh, bas germany uh, has a production capacity of 60000 tons per year kingfa china has a production capacity of 50000 tons per year nova mand italy has a production capacity of 40000 tons per year tanhi china 30000 tons per year singfu china 20000 tons per year and jinjui china 20000 tons per year the fourth polymer is polybutylene succinate bbs is a biodegradable aliphatic polyester it is prepared from the poly condensation reaction between succinic acid and butane diol it is uh, pra, that is the polymer is prepared in two steps first step the monomer is prepared in the monomer preparation esterification takes place between succinic acid and butane diol and in the second step uh, poly condensation takes place under high temperature condition to form high molecular weight bbs bbs has good thermal and mechanical properties bbs has a relatively low biodegradation rate due, due to its high crystalline nature so production of bioplastics worldwide so bbs is a biodegradable aliphatic polymer okay uh, so production of bioplastics worldwide bbat 4.5 percentage bbs 0.9 percentage pla 20.7 percentage pha 3.9 percentage starch blends 17.9 cellulose 3.6 pe 14.8 pet 4.2 pa 11.1 PP 3.9 and PTT 13.3 percentage thank you